the automotive gods have shined down upon us with good grace and we have managed to gather up three super sedans. We have the Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG, the Chrysler 300 SRT8 you see me piloting currently, and filling my review mirror currently, the BMW M5. The idea today is to head from Toronto up to the racetrack famously known as Mossport to put these cars through their test on track. There is a bit of a twist. We're putting ourselves in amongst a track day with some dedicated real-life sports cars, not uh, sedans with giant engines. So we're going to see how well we can play amongst some very serious machinery. So we're finally out here at Mossport with the cars. I'm out just coming down the straightaway in the Chrysler, cresting 200 kilometers an hour. See, she hauls around the racetrack, but it's a big car. It's sort of like trying to dance with a refrigerator. <laughs> or Rosie O'Donnell. But you walk on it, and this car just hauls out of a corner. I am going to slow down and signal left for the Porsche GT2. And another Porsche. Okay, so the Chrysler is fast, but it's not as fast as race prepped Porsches. But I mean, it sticks, it floats around a little more. You sit really high compared to the other cars, but I mean, this big Chrysler, she boogies. The guys at SRT should be really proud of this car. I mean, it's half the price of those Germans and it can hang pretty close to them. It doesn't have the same button down high tech feel, but it's still quite a piece of machinery. Okay, well, here we are at uh, driving down the paddock of Mosport in <laughs> a luxury sedan, a family sedan, the M5. So we're in full manual mode. All the M buttons are pressed. I don't really know what they all do. This thing is like it's shot from a cannon. It is a rocket sled. And you know what? It's so comfortable doing all this. The new M5 with 560 odd horsepower pulling almost two tons, just hit 200 kilometers an hour. We are bouncing all over the place. 224, now brake down. It gets kind of squirrely, but you can feel a lot through the steering. And the brakes really have this car under control. And the gear change just bangs home every time. It's really digital, but not in the same way as like a Nissan GTR, you know? It's digital that you can sort of work with, that you can play with. I mean, we are catching some very, very fast machines on this track. This is wild. So now it's time to check out the Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG on track. It's the first time I've driven it on track, so I'm not quite as comfortable as I am in the M5, but um, I think this is gonna sound the best out of all the cars we're driving on track today. Not a lot of feel coming through the steering wheel, but it is, you know, it steers quickly and, and precisely. The brake pedal feels, you know, a little numb, but you can, you know, you can use your eyes to detect how much you're actually decelerating. The chassis is uh, very well balanced. The, um, the transmission is downshifting itself, which is great. It's downshifting and blipping, which is really cool. I am amazed at how quickly this car gets around the track. I don't think it's as fast as the M5, but um, that's okay. It's still a heck of a lot of fun. Hello, wow, power coming out of corner two is just amazing. A little break. And slide it into corner four. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Love this car. This is fun. A 
as you guys can see, we're back out on the track, the three of us. <laughs> We've decided that the M5 is the winner of our comparison test. I think we learned that the, uh, the Chrysler, though half the price of the Germans, is actually about 90% of those cars. That was the first time I drove um, the, uh, the E63. And uh, how do you like that around Motorsport? So that was a lot of fun, but that's also telling. The car's got an amazing motor and a surprisingly competent chassis. It's, you know, it's very close to this M5. Not quite as fast, but pretty darn close. I think what I found really impressive about the BMW was how it made a guy like me, who's a pretty ham-fisted driver, feel like he could achieve some pretty good speeds around Motorsport. And then when you put it in the hands of somebody more skilled, like yourself or Brian, you guys can get some really, really impressive velocities out of the car. Now the BMW is a car that makes an inexperienced driver feel safe and confident behind the wheel, but with an experienced driver can be a real speed machine.